So why is branding important in the first place? Okay, I want to show you four um, reasons. Now, these aren't the only four, but these are four main reasons why branding is important. So number one, it builds product recognition and customer loyalty. Okay, now think about it. Apple, great example. Think about how people will line up overnight to buy the newest iPhone or the newest iPad or the newest product that Apple was launching. That is customer loyalty. Okay, that is extreme customer loyalty. It doesn't matter what other laptop, what other smartphone, what other tablet goes onto the market, people buy into the Apple brand. They recognize that brand, they associate it with products that they want or products that they need, and they remain loyal to it. Okay, without the Apple brand, they wouldn't line up in line overnight, okay? They would be fine to get whatever tablet, but the brand is so strong that it creates the desire to do those types of things. And that's good for a company because that leads to, to consistent um, sales, okay, and strong sales. Okay, number two, it communicates consistency and quality. So when you see the brand, you immediately think, good brand, like good quality product, or, you know, maybe not good quality product. Okay, consistency too. Think about McDonald's. You can go to in any McDonald's, okay, across the United States, and you're going to have a consistent product. You know, based upon just seeing those golden arches, what to expect when you go into that McDonald's. And, you know, people like consistency. They like to know what they're getting into. Okay, so branding helps to do that. Number three, makes product, product extension easier and more likely to succeed. So if you have an established brand, you have an established company, okay, with a strong brand image, okay, a good trade name and products with good brand names, then going out on a limb to try to release a new product generally is going to be easier and it's going to be more likely to succeed. And the reason for that is, People are going to see the brand, okay, and they're going to say, oh, um, you know, Nike just released new shoes. They're Nikes. They're probably going to be good. I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to, I'm going to go look at them and then I'm probably going to buy them, okay? That's just a simplistic example, but you can see how that is easier and likely more to succeed than just some company that comes out, has never made shoes in the past, and they try to launch um, a new shoe, they don't have that background um, impression in the customers, in the market. Okay, so it's going to be harder for them to actually succeed than the company with the established brand. Okay, number four, uh, branding is important because it can allow a company to change its image. If you have, you know, if people associate one thing with the brand, but then the, the company decides to change its brand to something else because the company is trying to go in a different direction. Uh, customers are going to see the change in the brand and say, wait, what's going on? Okay, and they're going to recognize that the company is changing from one direction or one strategy or one group of products to another group of products. Okay, so it can help to communicate those changes that the company is making to the consumer. 